So, we know scheduling season's coming up, and there's going to be some changes. So we want to make sure you understand what the changes are going to be in the English department. So at this point, I'm going to turn over to Mrs. Mulcahy, and she's going to share with you what's going on in English. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Mulcahy. I am the department chair for English here at the high school, and I'm here to talk to you about course offerings for next year because we have some changes, some minor changes for younger students and a little more major changes for older students. And so I'm just going to go sort of year by year and let you know what's going on in the English department. As always, if you have any questions, make sure you talk to your English teacher or come see me in 218 and we're happy to talk about that. If you are a freshman, your options really haven't changed. You're still taking American Lit, Honors American Lit, or Dream this year, and talk to your teacher about the differences in those. One big change we have for all of our students is our video classes. We now have something called a digital media arts class. This is a year-long course that is an introduction to video. If you are a student who has currently taken beginning video production and didn't get a chance to take advanced video production, you do not have to take the whole year over, but you do need to take the advanced video production next year if you want to take it. That'll be the last year that it's offered. So make sure you talk to your counselor about that and get that all straightened out. If you are a sophomore, one of the changes we have for your junior year is you now have four choices of classes that will count for your junior English class. The first is a brand new course. It's called Multicultural Literature. And multicultural literature is just that. You're going to be reading authors from different parts of the world, and you're going to be looking at those cultures. So what does it mean to be from India? What does it mean to live in El Salvador? What does it mean to, right? And looking at those cultures, what do those cultures believe? What is important to them? What is their experience? And we will, because what we know is American, being comparing that to our lives and what we find important and how we live. And so a really interesting look at cultures that way. We still have our world literature course and our honors world literature course. And that course is going to start you at the very earliest recorded story of Gilgamesh on stone tablets. And we're going to go from there. We're going to talk about the Greek theater and how that welds into what we now consider to be movies and where that started. We're going to be talking about Russian literature and the politics involved in that. You're going to talk about Ibsen, who was the very first realist dramatist. And he is the reason that you now have his sitcoms on television. You're going to be reading Shakespeare and you're going to be following literature forward in time and seeing how it developed into what we are reading today. The last course that's available for you for your junior year is our AP Language and Composition class. And this is a college level writing course that is a non-fictional reading class where you're looking at the craft of writing. What kinds of rhetorical devices do authors use? Are they effective? And then you're going to be using those rhetorical devices to write yourself and to become a better writer. If you are looking for any of your other drama, debate, um, writing for publication because you want to be on your book or if you want to be on the newspaper, of course those are available and please talk to your teachers about those options. The other class that I'm going to talk about is college essay writing and this involves both people going to be juniors as well as seniors. If you're going to be a junior, that will be offered for you second semester, and you will start the year by writing. Okay? If you're taking college essay writing as a junior or senior, expect to write every day. And you're going to be writing college level kinds of things to get you ready so that when you leave us and you walk into that college campus, we know that you're prepared to write whatever it is your professors need you to do. You've done MLA so far. We're going to introduce you to APA, Chicago style. And you will either start or end that. If you're a junior, you end the year with. If you're a senior, you start the year with using your expertise in writing to write that personal essay for your Common App and we get you going on that college application process. If you're going to be a senior next year, we have lots of choices for you. Some of them are you, some of them are not, so give me a couple of seconds. We have one class that's a mythology class. It's a one semester course. If you really liked Percy Jackson and Harry Potter growing up, this is probably going to be a great class for you. And it's going to be able to cover different kinds of mythology, so Roman, Greek, Norse, Hindi, all kinds of fun things that you can learn. It is a semester class, either first or second semester. We have another class called Contemporary Young Adult Literature. This class is based around issues that teenagers deal with. And so it's a novel-based class, but those big issues that teens look at. Another class we have is Points of View, and these are bigger issue classes. So we read 1984 and look at what role government has in our lives and what role should government have in our lives. You read Johnny Got His Gun and look at the effects of war on the individual and society, and, and is it worth it and is it getting what we need to get out of it? So big picture ideas. 
Another new class we have is creative writing. This is a semester long course and you will get to write poetry and short stories and, and look at what publication looks like both on paper as well as digitally and have your teachers walk you through that. So if you really like to write and you are someone that needs that creative outlet, this will be a great class for you. We also have a British literature class that kind of like our world literature class starts with the early pieces of British literature. So you read Beowulf and you come forward in history and read all kinds of things that British authors have given to us that just add some, right, some really nice spice to our literature history. AP Literature and Composition is a senior level course for our students that are looking for that collegiate experience. We read novels, we read contemporary novels, we start with Shakespeare and we end with Toni Morrison, Margaret Atwood, do a really nice job of bringing in the skills that we know you're gonna need to be successful both analytically and writing in your college classes. We also obviously also have the debate and the drama and all of those things for our seniors. If you're looking at classes that need recommendations as far as yearbook or advanced video classes um, or ready for publication, which is our um, school newspaper, please see those teachers in those application process because those deadlines are coming up soon. Hopefully this all makes some sense. If you still have questions, again, I'm in room 218 or talk to your English teacher and we're happy to put you in the right class. Thank you.